Okay, I've wandered over now to the Sigma stand, and unless you've been living under a rock, there's a bit of a, a lens war going on at the moment. Over there, Fuji have recently released their MK18-55 lens for Sony E-mount. The Rokinon and Zine, Samyang, whatever you decide to call them, lenses are now available there over there. And this one, which I've been kind of excited about, are the new Sigma lenses. This one's a 24 to 35 full frame T2.2. Just over there, we've got the 18 to 35 T2 and the 50 to 100, or whatever the other one is. They're also releasing a range of five primes as well. Now, these things haven't shipped yet, and the first lenses of these to ship will be the Super 35, 18 to 35, and 50 to 100. Those will be available in April, so I'd expect to see plenty of them around NAB and, and on a set near you soon. The rest, including the primes and the full frame lenses, will be released shortly afterwards. Shortly, uh, you'll get as good as mine, but I'm reckoning towards May, June, certainly by the end of summer, we should see these lenses pretty well everywhere. There's plenty around, and actually, they're really nice to have a play with. I've been through all of them. None of these lenses really breathe noticeably. Of course, this isn't the exact environment that you want to be testing this stuff in, but they look really good. It's really smooth action all the way around. They're pin sharp. Very little in the way of chromatic aberration. Very little in the way of breathing. And the Bokka's really quite nice. They're not the quickest lenses that we're seeing released at the moment. But at T2, they're plenty quick enough for most people. That's it for now. I'm going to go have a look a little bit further around. And uh, as I said, if there are any questions you have, do let me know. We'll be back for the next few days. So uh, let me know.